So nine years ago, Fujifilm released an iconic camera, and today we're gonna to take a look at the fifth iteration of this camera. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Welcome back to the Fuji Guys channel. My name is Francis. So today we are going to take a look at the brand new Fujifilm X100V. So for the first time in the history of the X100 line, everything has been updated from the design of the camera, the viewfinder, the sensor, the LCD screen, and even the lens has been updated. So we're gonna take a look at all these features in this video. So the X100V comes in two different colors. You have the classic silver as well as a black finish. Now in terms of sensor and processor, the X100 line now is up on par with the technology with the latest Fujifilm camera. So X-Trans 4 as well as X-Processor 4. Up next we have the lens, which is still a 23 millimeter f2, but it's the second version. You can still focus up to 10 centimeter close, and it still features that leaf shutter that makes it so quiet, and also can sync up with higher sync speed when doing flash photography. So in terms of lens design, it now features two spherical elements, which makes the lens much sharper, even when shooting wide open. The built-in ND has been improved as well. We've gone from three stop to four stops now. So when you're shooting in bright daylights and you want to shoot wide open, you get that extra stop of light that's been blocked. So when it was first introduced, the big appeal of this camera was that it was featuring a hybrid viewfinder. So you could choose whether you wanted to shoot with an electronic viewfinder or have a more traditional approach and shoot with an optical viewfinder. So from the EVF standpoint, it is bigger, it is brighter, and it has more vivid colors. So it's just gonna make your experience so much better. Now, if you wanna shoot with the optical viewfinder, you will find your standard frame lines for your 35 equivalent field of view, and then you can see outside the box as well. In addition to that optical viewfinder, you do have an electronic rangefinder feature on this. So on the bottom right corner, you'll find a little screen that will allow you to check exposure as well as focus. Yeah. Now looking at the back of the camera, we do have a touch screen that's a higher resolution now that is also tilting. And when you put it back, it also sits flush to the camera. And if you wanted to, you can also assign touch function as well. Now looking at the top of the camera, we still have our exposure compensation dial as well as our shutter speed and ISO dial that are combined. Now the way you make your adjustment for ISO has been improved. Now you simply pull, make your adjustment, push it down to lock it, and as simple as that. Now in terms of connectivity, on the side of the camera, you do have a 2.5 millimeter port for a microphone or a cable release. You have a USB-C port that will be useful to charge the camera, transfer images, or also monitor your audio with an adapter from USB-C to 3.5 millimeter. Now under that, you do have a micro HDMI port, which will allow you to feed a uncompressed signal to a recorder. At the bottom of the camera, we do have the SD card slot, as well as the battery, which is the NPW126S battery. And because of the new processor, you will get more shots per charge. Now, for the first time in the X100 line, we do have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. So, of course, with Wi-Fi, you can transfer images, you can remotely shoot and have a live view. But with the Bluetooth, what allows is that a constant connection between your phone and the camera, get Bluetooth remote release, also a time sync and geolocation using your phone. So that's a really good improvement if you use this camera for traveling, for example. Now, this being a Fujifilm camera, of course it features the film simulations which are unique to Fujifilm, and that includes the brand new classic negative uh, film simulation. But more than that, you do also find, you know, the new clarity setting, as well as the tone curve adjustments that we would find on the X-Pro3, and also some features like the HDR shooting, which will shoot three frames handheld and then combine them into one and give you a raw HDR file. You also find features like the AF range limiter, which will allow you to set a minimum and a maximum focus distance, as well as monochromatic color. Yeah. 
So video recording has been greatly improved. For the first time on the X100 line, we do find 4K video up to 30 frames per second. We do get a bit rate of 200 megabits per second. You got high speed recording up to 120 frames per second in full HD, face and eye detection in continuous. You got F-Log internally. And for the best video quality, you do get 10 bit out of the HDMI port. Now you will find also all the good features for video recording, including Zebra, time coding, which will make for a great everyday camera for both photos and video. So there's tons of upgrades to this camera from the brand new hybrid viewfinder to the new LCD tilting touchscreen to the brand new lens. So is this the everyday camera for you? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to know more about this and other Fujifilm product, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until the next time, c'était Francis pour les Fuji guys.